What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today we're going to be talking about a new dev update that just came out today. It is called Level Art Mag Check UI and Destructible Environments. So let's go ahead and start out with the introduction here. Howdy everyone, Guinevere here, Community Manager at Void Interactive. We are glad to be back with another newsletter showcasing some of what the dev team has been working on recently. In our last newsletter, we covered screenshots of both port and hotel, as well as previews of some of the up and coming reworked weapons. In this week's newsletter, we'll be taking a look at more level art, an updated mag check UI, and interactions with destructible objects in environments. Okay, cool. Level art. Over the last two newsletters, we had the opportunity to show off the grandiose chaos of hotel and the stormy night lights of port. This time around, we wanted to show a bit more of hotel's lower levels and some screenshots of the newly revamped dealer. Is dealer the map that I'm thinking of? I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't think they've actually talked about this map. I mean, I've seen it, but I don't know if it's the one that I'm thinking of. But anyway, while the first two floors of hotel have a sort of gorgeous architecture you'd expect from a high class establishment, this isn't universally the case. The upper levels are under heavy construction and the surface areas below were abandoned in a hurry. What seems like a pristine locale at first glance has an underbelly with blood, bullet holes and bodies. Yeah, so I don't know how much I, I'm able to spoil about this, but just judging by what they said here, there's multiple levels when it comes to hotel and I really don't want to say too much, but like they said here in this article, you got the pretty level and then you got the ugly levels so i guess i'll just stick with that and move on so we got our first picture here we got some sort of like a laundry room not sure if this is upper floor or lower floor it's been a bit since i played the map or i don't even know if this is actually a new room or not because they did say that they revamped it so he's holding a benelli n4 or if you want to get with the technical terms the military designation is the m1014 and i can tell that somebody has an rtx because it's obviously reflecting off of the freaking water that's right there let's see what it says underneath the picture here it says a laundry room in in poor order. Wait, is that blood? Is that water it's supposed to be blood? Because it doesn't look like it. Unless we're talking about something else that I'm not seeing. Which happens to me a lot. I tend to miss a lot of things. I'm not seeing any blood per se. Although that door does look kind of messed up. Like he actually shot into it compared to the door on the right. But uh, yeah, interesting. Moving on here. It says rebuilding dealer was a process. We approached with the desire to emphasize the dichotomy inherent to the level. The contrast between the neat and tidy front rooms and the dilapidated back rooms boardrooms and whiteboard memos and banners advertising the latest model vehicles versus iron bars and paint splattered walls move from steam clean carpets to cracked concrete and secure each room so for those of you that don't know what dealer is dealer is another map that i believe is only going to be featured in the co-op i have yet to see a multiplayer version of the map but basically as it describes it's a car dealership it's a pretty big map with a lot of ways to freaking enter it but uh, yeah so the picture right here is showing some sort of meeting room here but it doesn't look like the lights are on it looks like he has the hk416 it's the brand new weapon that was recently released in the previous update i believe it was and yeah like i said before i've actually played on this map but it was a very like early version of the map so this looks completely different to me underneath the picture it says a meeting room mid presentation be careful the leases are killer oh no and what is this moving on to the next picture we got a picture of some sort of uh distillery going on back here in the same level this looks new to me it looks like the weapon that he's holding is an m9 with the silencer or something on it underneath the picture it says strings of light bulbs help to illuminate the rusted piecemeal shingles and discarded paperwork continuing on it says behind the suits and smiles of the top of the line business something more lurks in these halls find it take it down and above all else bring order to chaos so dealer is a pretty interesting map it's pretty big i remember but it was very bare bones the last time that i played it like again the game hasn't been updated since february but even in february it was pretty early so i mean yeah curious to see what it looks like now moving on to the next thing here it says non-static mag check user interface when we look at tweaking our user interface there's always a few things for the team to consider does this fit the game's aesthetic is it easily readable and intuitive how much screen space does it take up will it detract from existing ui elements with these factors in mind we wanted to respond to community's feedback and offer an alternative icons location for when a player performs a mag check. Previously during a mag check, the weapon's magazine icon
icon and capacity would be shown as a static image on the body of the gun itself. Yeah, I remember that. I think I actually like that version better to be honest, but I don't know. While this will remain an option going forward, we now have a non-static icon for the mag check. This icon will follow the magazine itself during the duration of the mag check animation, something that we felt looked a bit more natural. Let's take a look at the video that's underneath here. Underneath the video it says, performing a mag check amidst sports cargo containers. All right, let's get into it. All right, so he does like some sort of mag check right there. And this is why he's actually aiming in. Shot a couple of bullets, another mag check. Shot more bullets, another mag check. And as you can tell right there, both the mags are different when it's empty and full. All right, now we got a scar. Oh, so you can check while well, you're aimed in now. I don't think that was a feature before. Unless I'm mistaken. Oh my god, the recoil on that shit though. Alright, definitely a uh, pretty cool mag check there. Alright, let's move on to the next thing. Destructible environment elements captured in slow motion. In any tactical shooter, immersion is critical to the gameplay experience. If you don't feel like you're in the moment, you won't react like you're in the moment. A big part of maintaining this immersion is having the world react authentically to anything influencing it. Civilians respond to how you treat them, suspects react to how you handle them, and the environment responds to what you put through it. Stray bullets can kick up dust, knock out lights, send shards of glass flying, and cause machinery to malfunction. Shoot an aquarium and watch the tank slowly drain. Shoot a stack of books and the pages will fill the air. When you pull the trigger and ready or not, there are consequences beyond just lives at stake. The world around you will be impacted as well. Underneath the video it says, Glass shatters and sheaves of paper will go flying with each impact. Lethal force leaves its mark. And let's see the video here. I'm not entirely sure what gun that is, but he's shooting a bunch of stuff right here. I need to rewatch that. Let's see. Okay, so we see him shoot at a wall here. You see the bullets kind of go through the wall and hit something behind it. Yeah, like it hits a lamp in the background, breaks like some sort of TV, breaks a bunch of TVs actually. And then you see a bunch of the freaking stuff flinging off and stuff falling down. Um, I believe this is the hotel room. And I believe he's holding an HK416, right? That's the new weapon. And you can actually see some particles flinging around right there. So that's pretty cool. Alright, alright, alright. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And then we have another video, but before we get into that, let's read what's underneath it. It says, A single shot in the wrong or right place can mean navigating darkness. I was a bit confused as to what this actually meant, but now looking at the video... He like shoots out a bunch of the lights right there. Although he's doing it from a side position. Which, why would you do it like that? So again, I believe he's hold. Actually, I think this is the SR-16. It's a bit hard to see, but I'm pretty sure that's the SR-16 there, not the HK-416. But pretty much in this, he's shooting out a bunch of lights and bases, and this is the hotel map, uh, the part where you're in the area where you can actually go into rooms. Yeah, like I said, the hotel is a pretty big freaking map. And they're adding on to it and overhauling it. Man, this is going to be huge. And Hotel is not an easy map either, by the way. I just want to let everybody know. But uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Move on to the next thing here. In conclusion, and here we are at the end of the newsletter. Screenshots of both Hotel and Dealer and a preview of our non-static mag checks. And some examples of the environment destruction in action. We'll be taking another look at exciting aspects of our AI as a part of the coverage in our next newsletter. So keep an eye out. And as always, thank you for reading along. Well, what are your guys' thoughts? In my personal opinion, I think that it's great that they're actually starting to look at you know more co-op focused maps more things co-op right because you know i'm someone who's obviously here for the co-op i think that the multiplayer is okay you know it's nothing special like to me i feel like it's a bit generic but i'm hearing that they're also trying to revamp that too so we'll definitely see but uh yeah if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like ready or not then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel and with that 
battle being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.